right, welcome back to the D Lud Golf Channel. Today we are at Wolf Run Fantasy Course. Um, it ate me alive, but let's start with the looks, the the fall trees, the different uh, fairway bunkers, kind of everywhere scattered around. Elevation change here on the first one, and then I actually like the uh, just kind of faded three-dimensional image <clears throat> in the background I think uh, it works a lot of people have tried kind of the GPS flat a lot of people have tried to fill in the background uh, I think that that um, way of doing it looks actually pretty good um, kind of emblematic of the day right there a really crappy attempt at par and then end up bogeying head over to two par three 199 yards over water and really short in the bunker about 20 yards short not good flip it out of there or not and there's another bogey so Get used to that. We're going to have a, an extra shot on every hole, it seems like, on this course. The course itself is really interesting. Um, it doesn't... I mean, they packed a lot of holes kind of together. You can see we're passing a green there. But a 511 par 5 that kind of snakes through a couple of the other holes. Um, and then we have a lot of kind of dog legs and and isolated greens and a lot of fairway bunkers and greenside bunkers and I actually besides like me playing not great and having those extra chips and stuff uh, I think it is kind of a difficult course I don't know what it would be rated there's the extra shot on this hole Can't put it close enough on a par five. That's pretty weak. Head over to four, 386 yard par four with fairway bunkers on the right. Waterway right. Good drive here for me. Holds up about 129. Look like a nice smooth swing. Can we get a par? Looks like it. Stop the bleeding for a moment. Head over to five. Water right again. Really cool framing where you can't really see where you're hitting here on this hole. It's almost set up like a link style uh, where the fairways always kind of run into the green, but there's a few holes where that's the exception. This shot, I mean, I hit it out of the center, but it read it with no spin, and it just launched it out of bounds. And so, uh, <clears throat> the extra shot there being like a decent try at getting there from 210. And then we're going to roll up, and this one's going to be a double bogey for sure. 20 yards away, it is a triple bogey, so that'll add the score up pretty quick. A wall of trees here on the 6th, another par 348. And this one going a little too far, and it's going to hold the green at 18 yards away for an automatic 3 putt. And we will have another bogey on the card. So we are now plus 7 through 6. Uh, this course is fictional made up out of the heads of the designers and apparently meant to torture me <laughs> i just didn't play very good uh, i definitely want to play this again wolf run i love the fantasy courses i think that um it takes a lot of effort to come up with your own course when like everything's been tried already but Really good job on this one. 
don't take how I'm playing for granted here. Here I thought I can make it to the second fairway, and I did. I mean, and this is a 450-yard par 4, no joke. It's a tough hole. Came up with a good drive. And then trying to find 178. A decent try there. Lands just past the hole. And we're going to have another par, thank goodness. Plus 7 through 8. You can see here how the course is kind of unique. We got a fairway running up that side and then up the hill and around the corner for this one. Um, not ideal line there. It's going to make it a long hole. Pin tucked in the front on an elevated green. That is a tough pin location. Gave it a good try to get up there, but come up short and then chances this is close? No. Shocked by the rollout there. A recovery for another bogey. We're sticking with the bogey golf so far here at Wolf Run. Tough par five here, split fairway with like bunkers lining the split here. Hit a spinny thing. Probably good it was spinny. It's gonna hold up in the fairway. Give me a decent try at a second shot here. Just a standard uh, hybrid layup. It's gonna run out into the rough, but we'll have 90 remaining. Pulled it. Pulled it and left it short. Might have been okay distance if it was online, but this round will take a par. Any, any sort of par is like money in the bank. All right, 11's a par four, 390. Dog legs a little to the right after this first group of bunkers on the left and the right. Finding a good placement here, 140 away. And another little pull, just maybe a little too active with the hands. Just really need to let my chest lead the way on some of those. Nope. Too far on the par save. It does roll back a little, but not far enough. So another book. Like, and from 20 yards or whatever, we should probably put that within 10 feet. So that's emblematic of the day for sure. Plus 9 going to 12. Normal par 4 here, kind of a little elevated green with bunkers everywhere on the right. Holds the fairway 152. Didn't hit again. It is. It's going to get a good kick though, watch. Get on the fairway. On the green. It gets on the green and it's getting better every day. We'll have another par to add to the card, thank goodness. Alright, then you jump to a. 231 yard par 3 from the blue tees not what I want but I actually gave it a pretty good effort from that distance for me 231 and we landed it on the green of course it kicks down to the fringe uh, and we'll probably screw this up 10 yards oh started it just a little too far to the right was trying to go for a make there it looked like all right we are almost to the end of this round make sure to like subscribe if you want to see more courses wolf run i recommend going to play it let me know if you had as much trouble as i did uh, i know that it's uh, not the easiest course out there to play but certainly someone with a little more uh, touch around the greens would be able to do a little better I thought I got this good, but I went left and down this little goalie, and then of course it stops. Going to be another three-putt bogey um, after a pretty decent lo 
like location in the fairway. So continuing the uh, three putts and bad chips leading to a bunch of bogeys here today. If you are interested in building a golf simulator space, commercial or residential, make sure to check out Green Pro Golf Simulators, our sponsor. Link in the description below on how to contact them and start that conversation. Nicest people over there, make sure to check them out. A bad attempt. Another like 450 yard par 4 here on the 15th. Just chunking a hybrid and now left with a tough chip from 30. And of course that's going to go long. And be another bogey. We're not going to stop. Plus 11. 16, 17, and 18. You get a little help here with a downhill short par 3. Let's have one good hit. Basically needs a 100 yard shot. And that looked like a normal golf hole. We even get a little help there at the end with a left spin. And we'll par 16, 17, dog leg right, par 5, over water, blind tee shot. And we're going in the trees. I shot minus 2 like uh, a couple hours before this. It's just one of those things. Okay, not really a bad place to end up after that. In the bunker from 130, and I swung too hard and chunked it. Holds up about 12. And guess what? It's going to roll by too much. <laughs> My expressions crack me up. Just uh, baffled. That we're heading to 18 at plus 12, which is probably the worst score I've ever posted on the channel. Sometimes these rounds uh, happen and they don't make it, but I wanted to give Wolf Run its due. I think whoever makes a course out of their own head uh, looked like a collaboration, this one, but really good. I thought it was uh, really fun regardless of my bad hitting and then this one's going to be a three putt also why not no birdies a uh, quad a triple bogey and then bogeys everywhere 43 41 not good let's take a look at the stats wait nine greens and ten fairways what happened we couldn't do anything right with the chipping we'll see you next time peace